The Cowboys are the only unbeaten team on the road this season. Uh, will that be the case after they face the Giants this Sunday? Dallas has won their last two games against the Giants at MetLife Stadium, but the game, this game particularly, isn't a gimme because history shows Romo struggles against the Giants. Between 2009 and 2012, he lost six of seven games, but Romo is looking to make this a three-peat. Can he make it a three-peat, Stephen A? Three Pete as in beat the Giants. Three times third on the time. road. Yeah. Uh huh. Skip Bayless. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no. Oh boy. I have no reason to pick the Giants, Skip Bayless. <laughs> I just hate what I'm seeing from them. They lost five straight, Skip. Eli's throwing interceptions again. Rashad Jennings, is he out? I don't even remember if he's, he's there anymore. He's Skip Bayless, I'm so disgusted with them. He's there, he's in. Mm. Victor Cruz is out. I don't know about Ruben Randall. Beckham, I like him, but I don't know the defense. I don't, I, I don't know, Skip. <laughs> Skip, I'm picking the Giants. <gasps> I'm picking the Giants. Oh I'm picking the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> they really East Rutherford, for New Jersey, Skip. They, had, they gave him a run for their money in the first half. The Giants have absolutely nothing to lose. They haven't been winning football games. This is probably it for Tom Coughlin. We don't know if this, it, this is it for GM Jerry Reese. We don't know if this is it for Eli Manning. This changes on the horizon, Skip Bayless. New York Giants fan base can't tolerate this. I get all of that, Skip. Damn it, I'm picking the Giants, Skip. This one last, I mean, there's one thing left to salvage this season, and that's to beat the Cowboys. And when all else fails, Skip Bayless, when all else fails, then we got to go with beating the Cowboys. <laughs> At least we have that to salvage. Now, it didn't matter the last four years when they were the walking piece of mediocrity that they were. But considering the fact that they're in first place, considering the fact that DeMarco Murray is an MVP candidate, considering the fact that Tony Romo with the two uh, bones, uh, broken bones in the back and all of this other stuff, considering the feel-good story, Jerry Jones, Jones boys and Big D have become this year, Skip Bayless. This would be an upset. This would be something that would pretty much uh, make the New York Giants season. I'm going to roll with that. I'm picking the New York Giants, Skip Bayless, to win this football game. I think Rashad Jennings is going to have a big game. I think Beckham Jr. is going to have a big game. I think the defense is going to rise to the occasion, and I think the Giants are going to find a way, Skip Bayless, to win this game. I'm picking the Giants. 31-26. Mr. Smith, are you sitting down? I assume you are because I can see only the top half of you. No, you're not. You... I must admit to you that the rationale you gave me for your irrational pick is painfully and frighteningly valid to me. It's, it's insightful. Because the reasons you gave all scare me to death. They're reasons that I wrestled with last night as I tried to make this pick. The Giants are in the perfect spot to upset their longtime arch rival. I have covered <coughs> dozens and dozens of giant cowboy games down through the ages. Back to my youth in this business. And I've seen a lot of weird things happen. I've seen a lot of shootouts. I've seen a lot of upsets. And it would be just like the weird dude that is Eli Manning to go from five interceptions against San Francisco to, I don't know, five <laughs> touchdown passes against the Dallas, my Dallas Cowboys. <sighs> Boy. And Odell Beckham Jr. is really starting to scare me to death because he looks like a stud, a flat out, big, strong, fast, and quick stud. And I got to tell you, he made a play last week. Remember the 37-yarder down to the four-yard line? This is against San Francisco at MetLife. Now, this is the San Francisco 49ers. And all of a sudden, their first and goal are your Giants at the four-yard line. And it's only 16 to 10. And they got a chance to win the game 17 to 16. And Eli misfired, and he misfired, and he misfired, and then the fourth down pass, as you well know, all too well know, got tipped up into an interception, his fifth interception. But they were in position to win a football game against San Francisco. They, they should have won that game. Well, that's pretty good. 
You mentioned Rashad Jennings. He got 59 yards. He's back in the saddle, I would have to say. So, again, at 3-7, and seven, this is Super Bowl-like for your New York Giants. This, this could... Bragging rights. Uh, yeah, it, but it could... I could go so far as to say, could it save Coughlin's job? I don't even know if uh, it's to be saved yet. I have no idea. They, they seem to still hang in with Tom Coughlin. <clears throat> but Jerry, you mentioned Jerry Reese. This would be a big win for them at 3-7. and seven. All that said, I'm still going to stick by my Dallas Cowboys. I told you, let's see, it's we're going back almost two weeks ago, the last time they played, they, they got back on that horse and they rode it in London against, albeit the Jacksonville Jaguars. They came out of that game feeling very good about themselves going into a bye week that they sorely needed to get a little healthier. I think DeMarco needed it just to, to heal up a little bit. I think Romo definitely needed it just to heal his back up a little bit. And I'm going to remind you that despite the cowboy hating producers on this show oh, who you, opened up this piece, uh -oh. with this, this topic, what, well, what was all that ancient history about? I, I don't know what all I that was. I guess they were trying to set up a timeline all that the there was. cowboy hate is so, yeah. That, no, I, think well, I don't know. That was some big they hating. Were, they were trying to that, say that was oh, ancient. Just because that was cowboy ancient. Lover, you might get them fired for okay, that. Okay, that, that was ancient history because my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, as Kerry pointed out, have won two in a row at Giants. They've, they've won three straight games against the Giants. They've won <laughs> four of the last five games against uh -huh, the Giants. Uh -huh. So I think my Cowboys feel pretty good about how to go about beating the New York football Giants. Tony Romo, in his last four games, nine touchdowns to only one interception. It's not exactly Aaron Rodgers, but it's pretty no. good. And I'm going to say that they will go in and win a shootout because it will be a shootout. And I believe that Eli will come off five interceptions. He might throw four touchdown passes for all I know. But I'm going to go, and your score was high also, I'm going to go 32 for Dallas, 29 for the New York Giants. Must see TV. Yeah. What did you have? 31-26. 31-26. 31-26. Yeah, I, I see Romo <clears> getting, <throat> he, he can put up 32 at MetLife. That's what I think on what's left of your defense. You might be right, man. You might be right. I can't really definitively refute that. I'm, I'm speaking on hope right I, here. I like the his Giants certainly with haven't given me any, the, Gi with the, the Giants, Giants haven't given me anything definitive to lean on. Yeah, no. no I question. like it, Stephen A. That's a good pick. Your boys I, love I think it. He thank, made, you, thank you, thank you. you. You made very good, logical, valid, insightful points about your Giants. Well, <laughs> well maybe maybe I should sleep two and a half Yeah, I was going to say, because it sounds <laughs> as if you're on top of your game today, sir. Uh, when we come Something back, like this is a good topic for us. We love to talk about boxing on the show. The